This desk setup is a product of two years of progress in trial and error. Now, I just got this desk a week or two ago and I initially wanted to focus on that, but I think it would be much more interesting and useful to also share what I started with, what products I use and why I use those, and a sprinkle of desk setup lessons I learned along the way. So let's go. Around two years ago, this was my setup, a laptop and a small table. It's been like this for years and it was fine. I only had a few hours left per day to sit on the spot, but things changed with the pandemic and remote work. All of a sudden, I had to spend a lot of time on this spot. Things had to improve. So I bought a bigger desk, just a cheap and I quote, temporary one. The pandemic wouldn't last long, right? Wrong, and now my new job is fully remote. That's why I'm improving things around here. Now, even though I primarily use the MacBook's built-in trackpad, some tasks are just better with a mouse, so that's it. This mouse is now six years old, by the way. Wow, talk about return on investment. I bought this for 3,500 Philippine pesos or 70 US dollars back when I was still at school, and it was a huge amount of money for a mouse, so I'm glad it's still alive. This goes for just around 40 US dollars now. I think it's a really good deal. Now, working with a laptop screen for hours daily is bad for your back, neck, and eyes. I stare at it for hours, with breaks of course. It's essentially my window to the internet. So I mustered up and got myself a 27 inch 4K IPS monitor. Finally, this was something I've been wanting to try for so long. At 18,000 Philippine pesos or 360 US dollars, this is probably the single most expensive accessory I've bought so far, I think. Up to this day, I'm still amazed at how much better this monitor is than the 27-inch 1080p monitor my previous job had. And this one, most people probably don't mind, but I do. I like high-quality audio, so I bought a pair of good bookshelf speakers. And you know what? I might have underestimated the benefits of having good quality speakers. Music is much more energizing, and meetings and videos are so clear and understandable. At 3,500 Philippine pesos or 70 US dollars, you'd think this is expensive for speakers, but no, it's actually affordable compared to the next good option which is around 10,000 Philippine pesos or 200 US dollars. At this point, we are past the two year mark and the only thing unsatisfactory for me is the desk itself. So I'm finally giving in and now upgrading the quote temporary desk. I took my laptop and ordered the parts that I want. Of course, I've been searching around and losing sleep for weeks at this point. First, the table legs. I wanted something different from the things I usually see around here, so I went for a set of 28-inch hairpin table legs in the 3-rod variant for additional strength. I got this for 2,000 pesos or 40 US dollars. This one's not particularly perfect, but it's good and I'm pretty happy with it. Second, the cable management tray. Clutter stresses me out, so cable management is a must for me. I went with this steel wire style cable management tray because I think it looks good with the hairpin legs. I got this for 500 pesos or 10 US dollars, and it pretty much surpassed my expectations for its price. It's really solid, strong, and the coat and finish feels premium. Finally, the tabletop. One thing I was sure of is that I needed a deeper desk. I prefer having my laptop in front of the monitor and I need to shoot flat lay or top down shots on my desk. If you didn't know, all flat lay shots on this channel before this video was shot on the floor and it's made of a messy setup that I have to build and dismantle again and again and I want to graduate from that. I did some measuring and it seemed that a 70 centimeter depth is just enough for my needs. I also wanted it to be slightly wider since the bookshelf speakers I have are a bit huge and it feels cramped on my current desk. I did some measuring again and I decided on 140 centimeters. As for the color and finish, I knew I wanted something wood looking. I eventually settled with light oak or maple to have a hint of life and nature on my working space. This tabletop is from Flexi Spot and I really like it so far. The surface feels premium and nice to the touch. The corners are rounded, the edges are smooth so it doesn't hurt my arm. It's very sturdy so not even a single hint of bending and I like the shade of their oak finish. I got this for 4,000 pesos or 80 US dollars and I think it's just perfect. Now time for assembly. I took the pre-drilled holes on the tabletop as a baseline, then I marked additional holes as needed to install the legs L-shaped base. I then pre-punched the markings I made with a tiny nail to make screwing a little easier later on. 
I did that to all four legs, and now we have this. Next up is to install the cable management tray. I marked the center of the table's width and worked my way there. I marked holes, pre-punched with nail, then screwing it in place. I'm just showing the highlights here, but in reality, this took quite some time because you should always measure twice. Alright, let's flip the desk over and install the next crucial bit of this setup. <laughs> Remember what I said earlier about needing to shoot flat lay or top down shots on the desk? Well, I bought the Vigim or Lanzi LS08 desk, camera mount, arm, whatever, which is just perfect for my requirements. The articulating three-point arm offers a lot of flexibility on positioning. This is what it looks like on a flat lay or top-down shoot setup. I can use my phone here or my Canon 200D DSLR. And this is close to what you'll see moving forward for flat lay shots. I finally don't have to sit on the floor and cherry rig everything for these shots. Also, I got the Olanzi ST08 phone holder because the LS08 camera mount actually serves another important purpose in my setup. I do a lot of video meetings and it's basically my workmate's point of view to me. So to improve my video, I use my old iPhone as my web camera. It's being held in place by the Olanzi ST08 and Olanzi LS08 we just unboxed. Then I use an app called Camo to connect my iPhone to my MacBook as a webcam. Camo also works for Windows and Android. I've done this setup several times before with a mini tripod, my Android phone, and a Windows laptop from my previous job. Lighting is very important to improve video quality. For that, I have the Sandmark Pro Light Mini just above the iPhone, also attached to the Lanzi SD08 phone mount. I think the right side of my face looks better, that's why this is positioned to my right. I can position this up front, but I have three problems with that. One, I don't like how I look up front. Two, the area behind me becomes more visible in that angle. And three, I frequently adjust my monitor height. So together, these four parts make up for a compact video meeting rig with great facial angle, good lighting, flexible positioning, and awesome video quality. So zooming out on the whole setup, I sometimes switch between a laptop in front layout and a laptop to the side layout from time to time, but I seem to like the former better for many reasons. I plan to make a separate video comparing those setup in detail. Subscribe so you don't miss that one. I almost forgot, this is the cable management tray in action. Imagine where all these wires would go if I didn't have this tray. So yeah, for just $10, you get a lot of these organizations, so I highly recommend getting one. Overall, I'm very satisfied and contented with the setup. It checks all of my requirements and needs to do my day job as a remote software developer and as a part-time content creator. The big desk gives me space to work when I need papers and an extra laptop. The 4K IPS monitor is just so good to the eyes. The speakers are a huge step up from my old one. The webcam rig makes me look nice. The entire setup itself looks nice to my eyes and inspires me to work. And the setup itself looks good for YouTube and Instagram content. So yeah, I hope you picked up a lot of information you can use towards your setup. Shoot a comment if you have anything you want to know or say. I linked everything on the description and I also have playlists of related videos so make sure to check them out. Thanks for watching and see you later.